Hi, I'm Anastasia. This is a gentle flow yoga practice focusing on opening the hips. This is a prenatal appropriate practice, so it is and should be safe for pregnant women who don't have any contraindications, but please always check with your healthcare provider prior to starting this or any other exercise program. So opening the hips is beneficial for anyone and everyone, not just pregnant women. So we're gonna think about the hips uh, from all sides. Um, we usually tend to think about our hips from the tightest point, whatever that might be for you, whether it's the outer hips, inner thighs or inner hips, the front of the hips or hip flexors, or the rear part into our glutes and connecting to our low back. So we're going to approach opening the hips from all sides in this practice. And please always do what works best for your body and know that we don't always have to do the same thing. As long as it feels good for you, then it's a good movement. Find yourself a comfortable seated position does not have to be cross legs, but it can be. Sit up nice and tall, stack one vertebra on top of the other, crown of your head reaching up to the ceiling. Give your shoulders a big roll up to your ears and down and back. Nice open space in your chest to receive your breath. Palms are upturned, receptive. You can soften your gaze or close your eyes. Begin to slow your breath, moving it in and out the nose only. Long, slow inhales, filling up the chest cavity and abdomen completely with air. And full exhales, pushing out every drop of that breath. With your next few inhales, take a little inventory of your body noting how all the different parts of it are feeling today. If any part of it is in need of some extra care or attention, just make a mental note of it so that you can do so throughout our practice. With your next few exhales, let go of your day anything you've already done, whatever you have left to do, anything troubling your mind or your spirit, just drifting away. With your body and mind connected in the space, please silently set an intention for your practice can be something physical with becoming more flexible or something mental like finding peace. Set yours silently now. Maintain this nasal breath throughout our practice. You're welcome to have your eyes closed at any time. Just be aware that this affects your balance. Keeping the shoulders back and the rest of the spine long. Let's extend those legs out in front of us if they've been folded, just to give them a little break. You're welcome to take them a little wide, especially if you need room for the belly. I'm 36 weeks pregnant, so I definitely need room for mine. But those shoulders are back down from the ears. Drop your chin toward your chest. Roll your right ear toward your right shoulder and continue in this slow circle. Thinking about lengthening the space between the vertebra rather than crunching them down. Once your chin reaches your chest again, reverse direction. Pause. 
pause with your chin at your chest. And next, inhale, open the arms, lift the chest and face. Exhale to round as if you're giving a great big hug. Follow your breath. Again, know that we never have to use the same range of motion. We never have to move in unison. And if you're able to go more deeply throughout our practice, you're welcome to. Your next inhale, let's reach up. Exhale, flex your wrists, hands push away as you nod your chin. So generally speaking, for safety during pregnancy, we're not going to lie on the belly, not going to lie flat on the back, and we're not going to deeply twist. So those are the accommodations I'll make for myself. If you don't need them, you don't have to use them. And if you need more, please do that. One more cycle of breath. Now we're going to bring that left leg on bottom parallel with the front of your mat so it's not pulled in closely. We're going to bring the right leg either on top or in front. It doesn't matter if the knee is way up in the air, but we do want some space between the groin and the calves. You might already feel that hip stretching. Let's take an inhale lift and exhale fold the outer part of the hip that is. Relax your head and neck. You can walk those fingers out and away if that works for you. Take a big inhale to lift up. Exhale, side bend. Shining that heart up toward the ceiling. Both sitting bones grounded. Gaze where it works for your neck. Next inhale, lift up. Exhale, side bend. Exhale, twist to your right to avoid cutting off circulation to the belly. We can twist using a little leverage on that same knee. If you don't need that, you are welcome to reach across. Spiraling those vertebra upward, shoulders down from the ears. Next inhale, lift. Exhale, twist to your left. lift. Exhale, we fold forward again. You're welcome to round your back if that works for you. Again, you can walk those fingers out and away. Look downward. And then let's walk the hands off to the right side of the mat, keeping the neck relaxed. And 
walk them over to the left side of the mat, staying low. Walk at center, inhale, and exhale, release. Let's take those legs wide, giving those knees a little break from being folded for a moment before we do the other side. Now you can go as wide as what works for you. Toes looking up toward the ceiling, inhale, lift, and exhale, fold. Maybe you don't go far, maybe you're able to walk it down. Again, relax your neck. Now opening through the inside of the hips, those deep inner thighs. walk it in. Now your right leg is going to come on bottom parallel with the front of your mat. Left leg in front or on top. Stacked logs position also sometimes referred to as double pigeon. Space between groin and calves. Inhale reach. Exhale fold. Again, you can round your back if that feels better for you. Just taking it where you're able to feel the outside of that top hip starting to open up. Exhale, side bend to your left first this time. Sitting bones grounded, gaze where you are. Next inhale, lift up. Exhale, side bend. Exhale, twist to your left. Again, you can reach across if that feels is safe for you. Every inhale, sitting a little taller. Every exhale, twisting a little more. Next inhale, lift, exhale, twist. lift, exhale, fold. Nefertiti loves her yoga practice. You're 
welcome to round your back if that feels good. And now we'll walk the hands over to the left side of the mat. Staying low, walk your hands over to the right side of the mat. From center, inhale and exhale, side up. Let's take those legs wide once more. Maybe they're able to go wider this time, maybe not. Inhale, reach, exhale, fold. Take it where you need to. into those tight places. walk it in. Let's go ahead and move on to our hands and knees. Wrists under shoulders, knees under hips, tops of the feet relaxed on the mat. You're welcome to come on to your fists if your wrists need more support. And we inhale and exhale through cat cow. Inhale, face and hips lift, belly drops. Exhale to round, drawing the navel up and in. Follow your breath. One more cycle of breath. find neutral spine. Neither arch nor rounded belly gently lifted. Spread your fingers wide, index fingers forward, tuck your toes, lift back and up, downward facing dog. Press your chest back, look through your legs. Feel free to pedal through your feet or wiggle your hips. Do what feels good. Drop to your knees, taking them as wide as you want. Big toes together behind you, hips back towards your heels and child's pose, Balasana. Place your arms where it feels good, out in front, around, behind your head in prayer. Right now, leaning over my belly doesn't feel super great. So instead of child's pose, I'm just gonna sit back on my heels you're welcome to do this too if resting this way feels more comfortable for you because it is meant to be restful. So we don't want to do something that's going to prevent us from resting because it's uncomfortable. So you can come to your child's pose or sitting back on your heels in the hero pose anytime you need it. Let's come back to hands and knees. Let's take a couple more cat cows here.
after your next exhale, find neutral spine. Spread your fingers wide, index fingers forward. Tuck your toes, lift back and up, downward facing dog. Again, press your chest back. You can pedal or wiggle, just doing what feels good. For me right now too, it feels good to step a little wider. You can do that too. Let's walk the feet up to the hands. Again, I'm gonna keep mine wider. You don't have to do that though. Relax your neck. Head is heavy like a bowling ball hanging from a string. Shake it yes and no. You're welcome to grasp your elbows if you'd like and rock or sway. Wiggle your elbows, soften your knees and roll up slowly. Supporting if needed, softening your knees if needed. High neck and shoulders come up last. Give your shoulders a big roll up to your ears, down and back. Nice open space in your chest to receive your breath. Here in Tadasana Mountain Pose. Another great resting posture should you need it at any time. Take a big inhale, reach up. Exhale, fold. With this forward fold, taking a monkey pose, you're going to bend your right knee, keeping the left leg straight. You can reach across and touch your left leg with your right arm. I'm going to rest my right forearm on my right thigh. Open that left arm up, rotating. Gaze where you want. Think about all the length that's developing in that extended side. Float it down. Soften both knees and then inhale, half lift. Look forward, flatten your back, touching shins, thighs, or floor. Exhale, hands come down, walk, step or jump to your plank. You can move from your toes or your knees. Inhale at the top. Exhale, chaturanga. Elbows bend straight back as you float down. Now I am not going to come all the way to my belly. If it's safe for you, you may. Cobra or upward facing dog. Elbows soft. Tops of shoulders away from the ears. And let's float it down. Tuck the toes. Downward facing dog. Again, you can bring your belly to the mat if it's safe for you. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, walk, step, or jump forward. Release and fold. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, palms to your heart. And again, inhale, lift. Exhale, fold. This time you're gonna bend your left knee. You can reach across to the right leg, ankle, foot, or floor with that left arm, or you can place your left forearm on that left thigh. Open that right arm up. Gaze where you want. Here in monkey pose or this monkey pose variation. Float it down, soften both knees, and then inhale, half lift, look forward, flatten your back. Exhale, hands come down, walk, step, or jump to your plank, toes or knees, inhale at the top, exhale, chaturanga, float down. Strong arms, 
inhaling into your back bend of choice. And exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, walk, step or jump forward. Release and fold. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, palms to your heart. One more variation on our forward fold. Inhale, lift. Exhale, fold. Now my legs are gonna be a little wider. Yours can be closer together. Bend them enough that you can stick your palms underneath the soles of your feet. Tuck your chin to lengthen your neck. And we're gonna pedal, straightening one knee as we bend the other, just slowly alternating. You can wiggle the hips here too. Soften both knees, release your hands, and inhale, half lift, look forward, flatten your back. Exhale, hands come down, walk, step or jump to your plank. You can remain on your toes if that works for you. Inhale, exhale, chaturanga, float down. Inhale, back bend of choice. And exhale, into child's pose. Or hero pose. Doing what feels good your arms, got a hand on my heart and a hand on my belly, you're welcome to do that too, slow your breath, make sure it's moving in and out the nose only. Remind yourself of your intention. Let's find hands and knees again. We're going to tuck the toes, lifting into downward facing dog. Right leg lifts, three legged dog. Big inhale. Big exhale, right foot steps forward, a very big step outside the hand. You're gonna wiggle those back toes as far as you can and drop the knee down, flatten the foot. We're here in lizard pose. You could stay up on your fist or you could come down one forearm or two, even wrapping that leg. Let me show you from a front view how this will look. You're outside of your shoulder. That knee stays hugging in. We can be up high, down lower, or even wrapping the leg. What we do wanna make sure to do is keep that head and neck in line with the rest of the spine. So we're gazing toward the front of the mat rather than letting that head dangle down. Opening that back hip flexor, front inner thigh should feel pretty good. Now we're gonna sit it back and we're gonna stick that right leg out to the side. Now I'm gonna turn and face you here so we can open that inner thigh a little more. So you can wiggle with it. You can rock side to side. Again, whatever feels good.
now we're going to tuck those back toes and we're going to lift that right leg up and back. Another big inhale on in our three-legged dog. Exhale to bring that right shin forward into pigeon pose. Now we want to lengthen that back leg again and relax the foot. To make pigeon a little easier, we draw the heel closer to the hip. To make it more challenging for our flexibility, we bring it away. You want to stay off of that other thigh. So if this doesn't work for you, you're welcome to come to a cradle pose. We are going to do that at the end. So if we're looking from the front, we don't want to be dumped off to the side. We want to be lifted. So we're really stretching that outer hip. Now you could come down lower if that works for you. If it does not, you're welcome to stay up high in King Pigeon. Now let's tuck the back toes to lift the back knee and step back to downward facing dog. Left leg lifts, three-legged dog. Big inhale, big exhale, left foot steps outside the hands, big step. Wiggle those back toes, drop the knee, flatten the foot. We can stay up high, we can come down low, whatever works. So let me again show you from the front view. Knee is hugged in up high. You can even be on those fists. Walk it down or even wrap the leg. Keeping your face lifted. Looking toward the front of your mat. Let's walk it up. We're gonna send the butt back and stick that left leg out. We can rock into it. Move around as you need. Let's tuck the back toes. We lift up and back, lifting that left leg. Big inhale, big exhale, left leg forward into pigeon. Lengthening that back leg, even wiggling it back. Stay off of that hip. Drawing the heel closer in if needed or further away for more intensity. So I'm not coming down low to avoid compressing my belly. Please listen to your body and do what you need to do. Tuck the back toe to lift the back knee, lie to the leg, and we'll step back to downward facing dog. And go ahead and drop to your knees, finding child's pose. Or we can come up to find hero pose. Do what is comfortable for your arms. And 
hugs and with your breath and your intention. We'll come through these postures once more onto hands and knees. Tuck your toes, lift back and up, downward facing dog. Right leg lifts, three-legged dog, big inhale. Big exhale, right foot forward, outside the hands, wiggling those back toes to drop the knee and toe. Keeping that chest lifted, neck elongated, we can drop it down if that feels good. And again, we do want to make sure that that leg stays hugged in. that right leg out to the side and you're welcome to manipulate this inner thigh stretch as you need. Always coming on to the fists if the wrists need more support. Pigeon pose. Getting long in that back leg and foot. Coming low if needed in the front. Drawing that heel closer or further away. Again, you can bow in this posture. Let's widen that back leg, tucking the toe, lifting the knee, step back, downward facing dog.
send the hips back and the leg out to the side, stretching that inner thigh, moving with it as you need. the toe, lifting up and back, inhale, exhale, sending that left leg forward for one more pigeon, getting low if needed for one turn, drawing that heel further in or further away, keeping that hip lifted, shoulders down from the earlobes. And instead of coming out of this into our downward dog, we're going to come out of it the easier way. And we're just going to jump out onto that hip and we're going to swing the legs around from here. Let's get some evenness through those two hips. Heels far from the groin. Big space for kite pose. Inhale and exhale, folding over. Again, it doesn't feel great for me to round into my back right now, but you can send your forehead toward the insteps of your feet. Really opening the hips and the low back. Let's come up to sitting tall. We're going to extend that left leg out long. You can flex your foot if you would like. Right knee comes into the crook of the right elbow. We're going to pick that foot up. Now I had to really get my leg outside my belly. You might not have to do that. Shoulders are down, but you can even hug that leg, bringing the foot into the other crook of the elbow. Feel free to rock with it, foot up and down in this cradle pose, whatever feels good. Let's go ahead and release that left leg, right leg down. We'll pick the left leg up, left knee into the crook of the left elbow. You can grab that left foot, you can bring it across, you can bring your foot into the crook of the other elbow. We can rock around, raise the foot up and down, whatever feels good. So even bringing my foot into the crook of the elbow isn't working super great right now, but that's okay. Still opening the hip. Doesn't have to look a certain way to work well long as it's safe. And go ahead and release. We're going to come down onto the side. So we can come down, relaxing the head onto the arm. We can make a little pillow, whatever works here. We're going to lengthen out nice and long and we're going to draw that leg up and we're going to get another inner thigh stretch here. So you can grab onto whatever works. Maybe it works to hook that big toe. And 
now let's bend the knee. We can grab the foot near the ankle for a quad and hip flexor stretch. Bringing that leg back like we're doing that standing quad stretch, but we're just laying on the side. Should be a safe position. We're staying off of the belly. And let's lengthen again reaching again for that big toe or grabbing on wherever works in your thigh and hamstring. And we'll release that leg down. And you can roll over, but I'm gonna come onto my other side so my back is not to you. Again, we can lengthen the arm to rest the head on the arm or bend the elbow to create that little pillow. We'll lengthen the legs long, reaching, grab on where it works. You can hook the big toe if that works for you. Now let's release, bending the knee, grabbing on to the foot near the ankle for a quad hip flexor stretch. That sure does feel good. I hope it does for you too. And let's lengthen one more time again, grabbing on wherever you need. Maybe hooking those big toes, that big toe. And we release. You're welcome to stay right here on the side, getting comfortable in a fetal position for our final relaxation. Or you can do a traditional Shavasana lying on the back. Again, typically lying flat on the back, not safe at some point during pregnancy. You're not considered safe. So please do what works best for you. You can even sit in your easy pose again. And I'll guide us into and out of meditation. from wherever you are most comfortable. Start to relax every muscle. The toes splay out. The strong leg muscles melt like butter into the mat. Your spine is long and strong beneath you. The hips are open. Your chest and belly move naturally with your breath. You're not worried if it's moving in and out your nose. You're just doing so naturally. Your jaw relaxes. Your tongue moves away from the roof of, roof of your mouth. Your brow relaxes. It unfurrows. Your eyelids become heavy and your mind drifts away to somewhere very, very peaceful.
start to wiggle your fingers and toes, slowly waking them up. Rock your head from side to side. And when you're ready, roll on to either side into a fetal position, unless you're already there. When you're ready, use your two strong arms to push you all the way up into a comfortable seated position. It does not have to be crossed legs, but it can be. You're welcome to close your eyes again. Sit up tall, feel strong because you are. Remind yourself of your intention. Thank yourself for working toward it. Know that you did something beneficial for your body, your mind, and your spirit. Take a big inhale, reach up. Exhale through the mouth. Thank you so much for letting me teach you. Namaste. Thank you so much for joining me. Again, my name is Anastasia, and I'll continue with these gentle flows focused on safety for those who are pregnant. But this does not mean that it's not a beneficial practice for people who aren't pregnant. So bring the whole family, bring your friends like and subscribe i do appreciate you joining and if you subscribe you'll know when i post new videos aiming for weekly thank you so much have a beautiful day